there's very little that you can dream up today that you can't actually realize on screen. Roland and Volker and Mark and their visual effects team, they did an awesome job. We, again, set the bar relatively high because we couldn't shoot in the White House or outside the White House. Well, we're using a couple of new prototypes, and one of the prototypes we're using is called the NCAM system. One thing that we usually have as a problem is that when you shoot a bunch of actors in front of a blue screen, you don't know where you are in space. Um, anything could be behind it. So with the NCAM system, we actually had a digital representation of the background that it was supposed to be there. What the hell is happening? Having the NCAM technology, it literally made the post-production process a little bit easier. We have the 3D files and the 2D pre-composited files available to us and can then exchange them with higher resolution models better lighting, better texturing to generate the final product. We had to use a lot of different elements to bring that roof scene to life. I remember vividly we had a lunch meeting and we had a little mock-up styrofoam model of the roof. And so we just moved stuff around and Roland was like, okay, yeah, but he would be hidden behind this piece so they wouldn't shoot at him. The other helicopter would come up and then move over here. And I always was like, okay, stop it right here. And everybody froze and I took a picture. And so I had the succession of images. This is where we are. And I finally, I made little descriptions and sent it out to everybody. That was the first rough version of this whole helicopter attack. That's what you do. You look at every other movie which has black hawks, and then you do it different. That's for the audience something new to see. The helicopter was always, of course, planned to be a full CG helicopter, so it'd be hit by a CG missile and then explode in full CG. But the people we wanted to have for real. So we actually built a stunt rig the problem is we could only do it one at a time. For each shot, we had to shoot everything four times. And then we would put those four elements together, attach it to a computer-generated helicopter, do the animation, and fit together. I think the Blackhawk stuff is pretty amazing when those shots achieve that photo real level, where all of a sudden it's like, it's a Blackhawk right in front of the Blue Room. That sequence was difficult because it had a lot of different effects. It had floor effects, it had wind effects, it was all blue screened and certain shots were totally CG and it was all very difficult to bring these shots all in the same level. These long sequences in the White House felt you're there.